the first one that I'm going to start with is minty cucumber cooler. As we all know, cucumber is very high in water content and has a very refreshing flavor. And it makes a perfect summer ingredient. So let's start with making the base for it. In a blender, let's start grinding a few ingredients. So I have one large cucumber that I've peeled and chopped. Next, add in a handful of mint leaves. The aroma of mint leaves has just taken over the room. Let's add in ginger. One small piece of ginger, finely chopped. And let's add the seasoning ingredients now. So half a teaspoon of black salt, one four teaspoon of white salt, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, pinch of red chilli powder, one and a half tablespoon of sugar. You can adjust the sugar as per your liking. And now let's squeeze in juice of one lemon. And now let's start grinding all these ingredients together. Grind it into a smooth puree and now let's check on this. If you want, you can just strain this pulp. So let's just do that. I like to strain the pulp just in case if there are pieces of ginger or cucumber left to get rid of it. So this is done and the base for the cucumber cooler is ready. I'm going to assemble the cooler towards the end of the video. Meanwhile, I'm going to let this cucumber base chill in the refrigerator. Let's move on to the next recipe, which is the basil mango cooler. I have the ingredients ready and now let's mix them and grind it in the blender. Into the blender, I'm going to add chopped pieces of one mango. So I've used alfanzo over here. Just add in two to three basil leaves, not much because I don't want the color to change. So just tear them in, half inch piece ginger chopped. Next, let's add in all the seasoning ingredients. So let's add in one four teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black salt. So the seasoning ingredients are pretty much the same for both the coolers, but trust me, they will still taste different because of the base ingredient, which is cucumber and mango. One four teaspoon cumin seed powder, one tablespoon of sugar, juice of one lemon and now let's start grinding all these ingredients into a smooth pulp. This should be done. Let's check on this. I don't think I need to strain this pulp but if you want to, you can do so. Let's remove this pulp in a bowl. The base for this one is also ready. Let's start assembling both the drinks. You can make the pulps and keep them refrigerated a little in advance. And now I'm going to start assembling the cucumber cooler. For that, I'm just going to moisten the rim of the glass with the lemon wedge, which I've used, I've already squeezed out the lemon juice from. So take that and rub it on the rim. I have some red chilli powder and white salt mixed over here and I'm going to coat the rim with this mixture. Let's pour in the cucumber pulp. Put a few ice cubes. As a garnish, I'm going to use a cucumber peel. So just put it in the glass. A lemon wedge. You can make this cooler with aerated water or soda or you can just use some chilled water as well. So I'm going to use soda. Let's pour some. So I have a stem full of mint leaves here and I'm just going to place it in the glass. And you can use this as a stirrer as well. This cucumber cooler is ready. And now let's move on to the next one, which is the basil mango cooler. In your serving glass, just fill up half the glass with the mango pulp. And now a few ice cubes. Drop 
a lemon slice. I have some soaked basil seeds over here. Just soak them for about half an hour and keep them refrigerated so they are nice and chilled. So around a tablespoon of these basil seeds, some finely chopped basil leaves, just a pinch of chili flakes and time to pour the soda. I'm going to stir this to mix everything nicely. Mix it properly and now I'm going to garnish this with a green chilli. This one is ready too. Do give these lovely coolers a try this summer to beat the heat and let me know how it turned out. I'll see you next Monday and stay tuned till the end for the tips and tricks. Until then, bye-bye. If you're making these coolers in a larger quantity, what you can do is blend the pulp and the soda, add some ice and just churn it in the mixy for a quick second and pour it in your glasses to quicken the process. If you want to make these sugar-free, then add honey instead of adding sugar. You can use any kind of fruits like kiwi, citrus fruits, berries, uh, peaches, passion fruit, whatever you want and use the same kind of seasoning to make any other different cooler.